after I've left the household, I go away for a couple of days, and when I come back, I show the family footage of where they need to perfect the techniques that they have found difficult whilst I've been away. Okay. I'm only asking for one bite, honey. Yeah. One bite is all I ask. Hey, Mom. No, 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 bite. Right, and there. That is where I would have stopped the nonsense. Your low voice should have come in, and it should have been, Caden, sit at the table properly and finish the two spoonfuls. Otherwise, you're going into the naughty room because you are not listening to me. Okay. okay. Just like all the other kids out there, honey, they have homework too. Okay. Oh, I'm done. Oh. You both lost the. Oh, I was so done. Oh, Joe, I was so done. I was so frustrated. Yeah. The pair of you were like this, ready to pull your hair out. So your firm voice could have come in with, do not give me attitude, do not talk to me like that. If you stay calm, then you can address the situations that do need to be addressed with his attitude and how he speaks to you. But then you can go, come on, let's get it done. So then we can go and we can relax and hang out together afterwards. I'm not happy with watching Declan move out on his own in the street. You see the height of Declan in comparison to the car? Mm -hmm. He walked straight out on the road behind this parked car, and there could have been a car. And he's in the middle of the road. That's, to me, you know, my mind wouldn't even imagine what could happen to Declan out on the street while you're indoors. And, and that is why I feel that you have to supervise Declan because he's too young. You've got to be on top of that situation, the pair of you. OK, is that clear? OK. We've looked through the footage, and I'm going to stick around and support you and reinforce all the techniques. OK? OK. So you can carry me even. I have brought okay. a door lock. Okay. What I would like to establish is your awareness of where the children are. I think it's a very good idea that they start coming to you and asking you if they can go out. Okay. All right, you can hold that. <laughs> okay, Mummy, I want you to explain to your boys why that lock's on the door, and what do you expect from them? This lock is on the door because while we're in the house and you guys want to decide if you want to go out and play, I need you to come and say, Mommy, I'm going to play outside and tell me where you're going. And this especially goes to you. Brilliant, Tammy. Excellent. Now the boys have to come to you. Tonight, the Orm family had a barbecue and they invited their friends. As usual, Caden was resisting to eat his food again. Caden, have you taken bites? Yeah. Well, you just have to sit here until you take those bites, OK? You've just got to have a couple of spoonfuls to try for Mummy, and then you can get down. Look at me. I'm giving you one more minute to take a bite of that. And if you don't take a bite of that, you're going to go into the naughty room. I can see now that's a control thing, and he's going to eat it. I was catering too much. Here we go. Where'd it go, Caden? Where'd it go, darling? Caden ate what I told him to eat. I think he knew that we were serious and we were firm. He's getting the picture. Hats off to Tammy. She did really well. She followed through with it and she got the results. And it was very successful. I was very proud of her. Come here. 